He has an obviously amazing to do world record, but I always want to break my world records. Like, you know, the best I can be is better than my old self. It's been pretty intense. I've suffered, you know, with injuries and I've missed a lot of training through that. Uh, but I think, you know, whatever happens out there, you know, if I get on the line, it's going to be a massive achievement because I've had a rough few months um, with just injury after injury. So I'll be proud of myself either way, but I really want to do the double-double. <laughs> My name is Kadena Cox and I do the 400 meters in athletics and the 500 meter time trial and the team sprint in cycling. I feel like people have this perception of, uh, you know, the athlete life and, you know, being at the games and that's really like exciting. And honestly, all we do is train and sleep. <laughs> like, your, your focus is just making sure you recover. So you spend a lot of time, you know, just sat down with your legs up. Um, for me, one of the, the highlights, I think, um, of my experience and something I really enjoy doing is um, braiding the, the other girls' hairs. Um, and that kind of sets me up, like it takes my mind off my performance um, and just, yeah, I just kind of focus on them and, yeah, just enjoy downtime. Like, there's, there's really not that much that happens, you know, prior to your racing. You're literally just doing your training sessions, kind of getting back, making sure you get the food in, keeping your legs up just to make sure you are as fresh as possible when you get on the start line. You're always focused on the Paralympic Games because it's the most important thing. So even though, you know, maybe like within like the six months, you kind of start thinking, OK, is this going to add to me getting a gold medal? If the answer is no, then I'm not going to do it. Um, but yeah, the whole time you're thinking about, you know, what's going to make me that, you know, Paralympic gold medalist. Currently, I'm, you know, we're only a few weeks out, so I'm, I'm really focused and everything I'm doing is kind of just to be able to go out there and achieve my goals. Anything I do is kind of adding towards um, that goal of being Paralympic champion. And it's the little things, you know, you can do all the training and that's what I do all the time. And that's what most people do. But it's the little things around that, that, you know, create the champion. I love the feeling of butterflies on the start line, because to me, that means, you know, I'm ready. Like, you know, I'm excited for it. Like, I, I, I want it. So for me, I'm going to, you know, throw everything at it. I think every athlete um, gets nervous. And I think if you don't get nervous, you clearly don't care about it enough. And the nerves you get, I, I try to, you know, channel those and use them to my advantage. I spend a time working with um, a psychiatrist and a psychologist, you know, just to be able to um, find ways to deal with, you know, any negative emotions that are going to come in. Being able to channel um, the energy correctly. You know, being a defending champion co comes with its pressures. I've had injuries and niggles, which again, you know, it, it kind of gives you that self-doubt. Um, but I think I'm always reassured by the fact that I've been here before, I've done it before. I trust that God's going to allow me to get through and trust the team around me is going to get me on the start line in the best place possible. Doing two sports, you wouldn't see it in the able-bodied world. Um, you see kind of winter and summer sports, but you don't see people doing two summer sports at the same time. And it's for good reason. It's hard. It's hard on the body. Um, you know, cycling and athletics, I'm using the same muscles, but in different ways. Um, so, you know, it's challenging your body to do two different things. It is a real challenge. Um, it's not just a case of going out and just being able to perform. It takes a lot. You know, it's amazing to be able to represent your country. I think, you know, from a young girl, it's all I wanted to do. You know, I wanted to go to the Olympics. And then when I got ill, I was like, do you know what? I'm going to go to the Paralympics. Um, and when you get that call up, I've, I've had a few now and, you know, every single one is still special. It's like, yes, you know, you get to put on that vest, you know, be proud that you are, are British. Um, and, you know, just having the opportunity to go do what you love for a living and go out there and, you know, just try dominate and show, you know, what us Brits are made of. Uh, it is something that's pretty cool and I guess something that I will you know, be really proud of like for the rest of my life, you know, regardless of the medals, representing your country isn't something that everyone gets to do. So yeah, I'll uh, give that a big tick and a thumbs up. <laughs>